Hi, how you doing? Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel where I discuss all things financial services related. We talk about the comp plans. We talk about the IMOs. We bring the documentation, third party documentation to back up our rhetoric or to show you the biggest lies in the industry for yourself. And that way you can make your decision on what is best for you in your future. Listen, I am ticked off today. Uh, I spend so many hours per week talking to so many of good people across the country that really just want a chance to succeed in this industry and to get proper support should go without question, right? If you're starting in the industry, you, which you may not know anything about, you need proper training, you need proper support. I'm talking about the kind of support that's beyond just signing you up, right? I mean, okay, they type in the information in, into a document or they send you over a document on email and that's their whole support process. And once you're in, they're on to the next one. Why? Because they're in an IMO, which is all about network marketing. This uh, recruit, 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 don't get the three of those things out of order. Uh, I have a huge, as you can tell, disdain for that type of business. Now look, I'm not here to tell you whether or not you should go with that company or not go with that company. That's their business plan. If you like it and you want to go to meetings and get all lathered up and excited and sent home. Look, if, you, if you're if you into raw, raw meetings and you want to go to a weekly meetings every week and get excited and sent home. Look, I believe people ought to be motivated, but I think they should be moved more than motivated. And I'm not into the raw, raw meetings once a week. What I'm into is getting proper training, partnering with people for their success not signing people up and use this you know, some will, some won't, some what mentality. Look, if you're being asked to recruit before you even started getting your license or even before you've got licensing, look, in my opinion, you ought to, if you want my opinion after 33 years of being in this industry or around this industry, you ought to run for the hills because that's an organization that sees you as nothing more as a link to somebody else. Right? They want you to bring them some people, uh, period, plain and simple. Right. Look, scamming the good people this industry that simply want to, maybe not, maybe it's not just want, maybe they have to. Maybe they've had a, they need a second career. Maybe they've lost everything and they're trying to start over. The last thing you need is to be highly active in, in recruiting. Uh, because recruiting is not a, uh, or building an agency is not a uh, instant income thing. It's going to be months, maybe a year or so, or even longer before you're going to see any money from any kind of building efforts, regardless of what they want to sell you. Okay. And you need to understand, I'm a big believer in the numbers of the industry. You need to understand what it takes, right? To build an agency in this industry. Can you do it? Yes. Should you do it? Absolutely. But you should do it when you're ready. And when you can leave from the front, when you're putting your name on an application too. Doesn't mean you have to be a great at it. Doesn't mean you have to be a top producer, but it does mean that you're doing. There's no bigger BS in this industry than one of these IMOs out there saying, hey, look, all you gotta do is build a small team. Yes, we do require you to recruit in order to advance past the 80% or advance past the 90%, but no big deal. All you have to do is recruit a small team of 15 people doing you know, $50,000 a month, whatever it is. So I'm here to tell you on this video that one of the things you have to do is understand the numbers, right? To, to flush out the BS. In order for you to get 15 people on your, 15 agents on your team, look, the average in the industry is 10% of the people that you and I hire will ever get past the licensing, get trained properly, and have enough ambition to get off the couch, to go out there in the field, and actually start writing some applications. So if you need to get 15, how many do you need to recruit? Well, 150 minimum. 150, okay? So let's just say that's 15 people a month. That's, that's 10 months, 10 months. No big deal, they'll tell you. I'm gonna help you do it, right? Okay, so for 10 months, now, during that 10 months, sure, you can get your license. Sure, you can go out there and start writing your own business. You better, because in the next 15 months that you're trying to do this, that upline's taking your money, right? Why do I say that? Simple, because if you're an average producer and you're writing five applications a week, right? The average in application in the industry for mortgage protection is $1,000, 1,000 APV, annual premium volume, right? That's how you and I get paid, right? So if you're doing five apps a week per month, that's 20, right? Are we in agreement here? That's $20,000 APV, right? Now, at this organization over here that wants you to recruit, 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 recruit all your friends, family, and neighbors before you've even licensed, before you can even sell a product, 
because all you need is to build a small team of 15 agents, it's an exchange rate. So if you bring them some people, they will allow you to be promoted beyond a certain percentage, 80, 90, whatever it is, okay? Right? You follow me? So once you build this big team of doing 15 agents, doing $50,000 a month in premium, so now there's production requirements, right, for you to do that. While it's taking you 10 plus months or longer, if you're doing this, what an average producer will do, you're going to be stuck. Let's just say you're stuck at the 80% contract rate, right? And let's just say that volume anywhere else, including where I'm at, would pay you 100%. That means you're losing 20% on every application that you write, correct? You follow along with me? You're stuck here because you haven't done this yet, right? But you're doing great volume. You're bringing good volume. The value that you're bringing to the IMO in terms of what you're doing business-wise yourself, it's five apps a week at $1,000 per application or 20 apps for $20,000. That right there in most IMOs will get you to the 100% contract rate. So that means you are losing 20%. What is 20%? It's $200 on average if you're selling an average application of $1,000 a month. $200. Now here's the kicker. $200 per application times 20 per month because you're doing average production of 20 applications per month. That's $4,000 that you're losing while you're trying to build your small team. This is why this whole upline, downline, building a team thing starts getting animosity and all of a sudden you're now trying to whip your agents into shape to go out there and do something because, and you're getting angrier and angrier and angrier and madder and madder, however you want to call it, every single month because you're losing $4,000 a month and you're under pressure. You want that $4,000, you need that $4,000 for your family and right now, I'm sorry, but it's going to your upline, right? All your money is going to your upline while you're working hard at building this so-called small team of 15 agents doing $15,000 a month. And when you finally do get to this point, he will finally allow you, he or she will finally allow you to go ahead and be promoted to the next level because you brought him some new people that he can make money off of. Now he's willing to let you make the money you should be making all along the way. Folks, this is, this is, this is sad. This, this is not the way it should be. You should be able to get paid what you're worth, which is the value that you bring to the IMO or to the insurance company, which is the amount of premium that you bring that IMO or to its carriers, to its insurance companies. Nothing more. Okay? And if you want to build, you should be allowed to build and you should be compensated for building, but you should not be held down in your income because you have yet to find these people over here. Because even if you were really good, really, really good, and you were able to somehow determine what's in a man or woman's heart, meaning they're, you're going to hire only quality and not quantity, you're still facing a 10 months or a year to hire these folks. And then you and I both know you can't motivate somebody to do what they don't want to do. So I'm telling you, it's going to take you a lot more than 10 months. It's going to take you a lot more than 150 agents to find 15 that will go out there and do $50,000 a month, right? I don't care how good the support and training is. Some will, some won't. That's true, right? But in the meantime, and you should have the luxury of being able to do that over time, but in the meantime, you need to get paid what you're worth. Otherwise, their hands are in your pocket. For what? I always ask somebody on the phone, why would you do that when there are better options? Right? What are they offering you? In most cases, there's no support. There's no training. It's low pay. Why, why would you do that when there's other options? If you don't know what those options are, give me a call and I'll help you walk through the options that are available in this industry, right? Plain and simple. So this is a, I mean, this is a shotgun video. I'm hyped up because I tell you, I talk to so many people that get sold this BS, right? That you, all you have to do is build a small team. Folks, I've been doing this for a long, long time. You and I are like gold panners. 
We put a bunch of people in a pan, we shift it, and out of that pan comes some nuggets that you and I can mold into becoming great agents. But that takes time. In the meantime, I have to support my family, pay my mortgage, pay my bills, support my kids, and I want to get paid when I'm worth. I don't want anybody having their hands in my pocket, taking money away from me that I've rightfully earned by my own activity. If I choose to build an agency or build a team, and I bring that IMO or bring that insurance carrier people, more agents that are going to do more, I want to get paid for that. But in the meantime, pay me what I'm worth. Pay me the money that I've earned. No income cap, no recruiting requirements. Make sure when you're talking to these folks, they show you the promotion guidelines, period. Plain and simple, don't take anyone's word for it. I'm not down on building an agency. I think you should do that when the time is right. In the meantime, you should get paid what you're worth, period. Be in this thing, get with the right IMO, get with the right coach and mentor that can teach you the business day by day, step by step, case by case, before, during, and after the sale, and even call into the home and help you. That's what we do every single day, right? And our people get paid with the worth. We don't hold them back. We pay them based on what they bring to the IMO, which is the volume, right? the quality and the quantity of the premium that they write. No other requirements, period. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So when you're interviewing the person you're gonna be with, look, I don't look at this thing as a sign-up thing. That's what everybody does. It's a partnership. And if I can't make you successful, then I have no business being successful myself. It's not a sign-up thing. I'm gonna put a thousand of them in and somebody's gonna make me rich. That kind of nonsense is why so many people fail in this industry. Hey, listen, I appreciate all the phone calls, all the emails, and all the texts. I enjoy talking to hundreds of you each week. Man, get fired up. Make sure you're looking out for yourself and you're getting the best quality IMO and the best quality coach and mentor that's actually in the field doing the do. Not just saying how to do it, but leading from the front and doing what he's asking you to do. Simple stuff. Bye-bye. And here's another thing that most of you don't know and probably haven't been told. And that is, you can't even receive overrides from those recruits that they're trying to get you to hire and recruit and bring into your agency, quote, their IMO, until you're licensed. So all of that effort, while it's great to start early if you're going to build an agency, because you can get overrides down the road, the number one priority is you get in the field, leave them in the front, put your name on application, and getting licensed. Because until that happens, none of the work you're doing right now is going to make you any money. If you never get licensed, you'll never receive a dime from all that work you're doing hiring those agents. That's what they don't want to tell you. Because when you quit and put yourself into bankruptcy, the recruits that you hired stays with that upline. That's the point. So I hope this makes sense. I've been asked a lot lately, what are you selling? Are you selling your training? Are you selling your, uh, you know, your system? What, we're not selling anything here. I'm here to help you succeed, period. And if you're looking for a home, one that will treat you like an agent, treat you fairly, and not have their hands in your pocket, we can have that conversation. But other than that, I'm not selling nothing. I'm here to help you. Period. I'm not putting up a bunch of videos or a bunch of content that don't mean anything. I'm here to help you and provide you training and, and give you skills necessary and also to fix your mindset so you make the right decisions. Plain and simple, that's it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.